Hello and welcome to my channel. I thought I'd do something different so I've got this collection of moulds and I'm going to have a go at uh, making my own little decorations. I've bought this from Timu, it's a UV resin so I'm going to try and make my own little decorations. I'll start with this one first because it's the deepest and it's hearts. This could be a bit trial and error because I've never done it before but I'm going to get the resin and I'm just going to pour a little bit in. Okay, that didn't come out. Nothing's coming out. <laughs> That's why. It's got a stopper on it. So you have to lift the stopper off. There we go. And try again. I'm just going to pour a little bit in, like that, and then let that settle. Pop the lid on. Give it a little tap just to get it to settle. So we'll start off with clear just to see what what it's like and how it looks, if it works in fact. So I'll pop that under there for 60 seconds. Right, that's out the lamp. I hope you can see this because it is clear. But I've just got this just to see and it does feel like it's solid. So I'm going to pop this out. Oh wow, look, that is so cute. I don't know why, but I think that is so cute. So I've got a perfect shape heart to go on a nail in clear. So I can paint it, obviously. Slightly warm to the touch. So maybe if you've got sensitive skin, let it cool down. But there it is, my first little resin heart. So I'm going to do that again, but I'm going to try it with colour now. That's really good. So I've cured that in the lamp and then I've put the resin over the top. And with a bit of luck it will stick to it and then the two will join together. So I'll put that in the lamp for 60 seconds. And here it is out the lamp. So you just peel it back like that and then the little, little uh, decoration pops out. And we can see we've got, you've got quite a matte look, or if you turn it over, you've got the resin side, you've got, you've got a shiny look. So there's one, and there's the other one, the clear one. So yeah, I'm gonna buy a big one of these and then I can make all of my different ones. So I'm going to get some different colours now and fill up the hearts and make lots of little hearts. Right, I'm going to do different colours now. So I'll do them all at once. So we'll start with pink, ultra pink from Madame Glam. Just taking my time and I'm just using my long brush because it, it can get in there a bit better. Even then I'm still touching bits I shouldn't. Just trying to get in a bit more. Now if you get more it tends to cling to the side a bit more. So it is just being patient tiny sweeping motions. Could probably do a hat in two colours as well. The reason I'm using this and not a normal polish is it hasn't got a sticky layer when it finishes. 
so I can use it straight away. I haven't got to worry about top coating it or anything. And the silicone is shiny enough. If you show it up silicone side, that's plenty shine. So that's the pink one finished. The next one is electric yellow from Madame Glam. So I'll do this big one. Again, just pushing it in so that it fills. Like that. Just pushing it along. And then the other side. like that so I'll do that with all the colors right I've done them and I've poured the resin over done it for 60 seconds and now I'm going to pop them out of the mold so let's start with this one this is the yellow one there it is close up you can see the shine so the resin gives it a nice shine that's the way I would put it on the nail as well because if you look underneath it does have a little bit of a wrinkle going on so definitely that way so it would be on the nail so there's yellow then we've got blue which I've already done a blue but this is this is a slightly different one it's sort of this one's flat on the bottom and um, this one's more of a rock oh more of a rock on it along the bottom that's the blue and my fingers and thumbs hold on I'm just putting them on this white background so you can see all the hearts when they're finished the next one is quite hard to get out it's it's tiny there we go. There you go, a little tiny hat. Just to show you the size. Oh, I've dropped it. Right, I've got it back. There. On a nail that's the size of it but obviously you can buy um, from Timu I guess loads of different molds I know you can get them from Sheen but you can also get them from Timu I think and it's really good fun making your own things That's 
another rocky one. It's got like a rocky bottom instead of a flat bottom. I've done this one as a marble. And I've done this one as a half. So oh, here they are, all finished. I'll turn around so you can see the hearts. So you can marble them. You can half heart them, half, half colour. You can have clear or you can colour them. So it's up to you how you want to do it. But there they go, that's my first attempt. And some of them might need a little bit of a file just where there's a little bit flaking. It might even just pick off. So that's my hearts and I'm going to do flowers next. These are um, smaller, more intricate, so that'll be interesting. Right, I'm going to do these flowers next and I've got this vivid green for the leaves. If you look closely, you can see there are some little leaves on the flowers. So I'm very carefully going to try and paint the leaves. like that and again like that and I'm aware I've got to leave some room for the resin as well this is a whole leaf so this one just sort of dabbing it in because they are quite shallow Poking the brush in each shape of the leaf like that and then there's another leaf here and another one here Deeper, this is a deeper leaf. suddenly more leaves than I thought. Doing a one there. That's a flower, that's a flower. This isn't a leaf, I don't think. It might be a... Oh, yes it is. Yeah, that's a leaf. Right, that's all the leaves. Right, this big flower here, I'm going to do yellow. I've just set the green the leaf, I've just set that for about five seconds flash cure just to stop it from running straight into the yellow. And now I'm just spreading this around so it picks up all that intricate design. I don't want to make it too full because I've got to put the res resin in yet. So I'm just pushing that around now. To make sure it gets all the little intricate details. Like that. And 
the gun here. I'm just thinking it might be better actually if I do the next flower and sandwich the colour rather than have the colour at one side. So with the next one I'm going to put some resin and then I'm going to sandwich the colour and put some more resin. So that one there, that's what I'm going to try. So I've got the resin, I'm just going to put a teeny drop. In the middle like that because I don't want a lot it's just to coat the very base of the nail to pick up all the intricacy so I'm just gonna push that round a little bit with my brush like that they're not very deep these flowers so it might not work but Pushing that around in there. Like that. And then again, I'll just have to pop that in the lamp. Right, so I've taken that out of the lamp. I just did 30 seconds. So that's this one here. I've put the silicone on. Now I'm going to sandwich the colour. Probably not going to be deep enough to do this. And then I'm just going to pop that back in for 30 seconds. Right, and then I'm going to get this and just put another blob of the resin. Oh, bubble. Don't want a bubble. Another blob of the resin on top of that. Just one blob. And then spread that over the whole thing now. So we want the leaf as well. And pop that in. So I'm just going to pop this orange one out just to see if sandwiching it works out better. So I'll just choose the end of my gem picker and flip it out and I can have a look. There's the flower. It's picked up on all the little intricacies. But I still, I think, prefer the shiny side, the, the nice smooth side. It's very tiny, so it would be like that on your nail. Or if you did the shiny side, it would be like that. So I'll carry on and do all these off camera and then show you what they look like. Right, they're out the lamp, so I've done the sandwiching in between, so we'll see what they look like now. Take one out. You can see all the detail. And it is a little bit shinier. And then on the other side, it's just a shiny flat bottom. So I'll get all those out. Right, I've got all those out and sandwiching is the best way forward, I think, because you can see all the detail on the flowers. I'll just pick one up. There 
There you go. And it's got the little green leaf. And then the bigger ones. You can see all the detail there as well. So I think that's what we'll do we'll, when uh, I'm making them. I'll sandwich them. So I hope that's helped. Um, if you have these moulds in any of your boxes, your um, mystery boxes or anything like that, and you don't know what to do, I have tried in the past just using polish and they're very breakable. And then I saw this resin and I thought I'd try that and it's worked a treat. So have a go. Like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.